Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and welcome back. It's been so long since we've done a video like this, but I'm super excited to introduce you guys to my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit for the month of March 2021. I first have to apologize for the desk arrangement currently. It is still a work in progress, so if you're not following me over on Patreon, definitely check it out in the link down below so you can see it develop over time before I finally get to do a room tour probably in a few months for you guys here on YouTube. But I am back with How to Kill a Kit with Style. I'll have all of the other lovely participants linked down below so you guys can see their kits because they've been kitting it up for a while, um, even though I've been gone during my move. But definitely check out all of those lovely people linked down below for all of their kit shares. And if you're new to How to Kill a Kit with Style, essentially every month a bunch of us put kits together, make a bunch of things throughout the month, and then do a wrap-up video at the end of the month. So you'll always find at least two videos every month from each of us, one in the beginning, one towards the end, of what we started with and what we made and ended with. So hopefully you uh, check out everyone down below. But I only put a very, very small kit together because, to be honest, I'm not sure what I'm going to end up making this month. There's a lot going on, but I definitely wanted to start diving into that spring theme. So as you can tell here, I pulled out my Maggie Holmes Bloom paper pad, which doesn't have too much left in it. We can do a quick flip through so you guys can check it out. But really, I am just excited to get back to cutting some paper and having fun with it. I see a lot of cards with this paper pad. I can see a lot more layouts. You guys have seen me use this paper pads in kits and page kits before, so hopefully you either have some of it still or you're at least not sick of it. Some scraps up here as well to work with. So overall, still a lot of potential left in this paper pad, so I'm excited about that. And I thought I would mix that in with some of the embellishments from my stash. Now, I don't own anything from the Bloom collection other than Le Paper Pad. Um, I don't even own the 6x6. Six six. I don't own um, any of the embellishments. If there were any, I do have a sticker book, however. I might as well bring that in because, you know, it'll be a good fit. So this is the Maggie Holmes sticker book. I believe the first one that she did. Um, and this, my goal was to use up a whole sticker book last year. This one came pretty close. Um, I think I might as well include this because it does have some of those motifs that are common throughout all of Maggie's different collections and a lot of bloom references are in this sticker book as well. So some of these pages have more than others, but I think it still works really, really well for what I need, which is just a little bit of inspiration to get me kickstarted back into crafting after a long hiatus, as I'm sure several of you guys noticed. Uh, I haven't made an actual crafting video in quite some time, and I'm excited to get back to it. And hopefully use up some supplies because you guys know that was a big motivator for me last time I was into the crafty spirits. So hopefully through some of these items here that I've pulled out, I can utilize some of them up. So look, an empty sheet. We love to see it. But uh, the Maggie Home sticker book has to be a go-to. Set that right there. So we have the Maggie Home sticker book, Maggie Home's Bloom paper pad. I do plan on reaching beyond this kit, but let's just go through the embellishments that I have pulled out. I decided to go for the Jen Hadfield homemade washi tape book. Here is some of the samples. Some of these are too dark for the Maggie Holmes, but there are some darker tendencies in some of the patterns, so I thought some of these darker ones might work, but I really like the text print. And some of these are off-white, which is similar to the off-white in Maggie Holmes's collections. So some of these florals might work really well, and of course, wood grain always goes. So I'd like to put a dent in this as well. Decided to go silver with these freckled fawn cork silver foil stickers, like really, really pretty, and I haven't touched them, so I'd love to get another set of those going, because I did use the gold ones a ton. And then I have the Illustrated Faith Epoxy Butterflies. I still haven't opened these, despite having them for well over probably two years now, um, but I'm thinking some of these blue and yellow hues will pick up from the Bloom collection. And then these two go hand in hand. Um, the Meow Collection by My Mind's Eye. Just again, really great pastels to work with with those pinks and the dark black. Again, some darker patterns in the Bloom Collection. So I thought I could utilize these on some of the cat pages I'm most likely going to end up doing. And lastly, we have the Heidi Swap Emerson Lane. That's what it is. I really dislike when they don't put the collection name at the top or anywhere on the packaging because then I have to, you know, dig back into my memory and to figure out what 2018 collection this was from. Um, but this is got some, again, yellows. It's not a perfect match, but we might be able to do 
something that works there, some phrase stickers, which always are fun to use, and then of course some labels here in the back. Some yellows, again black, green, and blue, and some gold. So those are the main things I've pulled out, like I said, and if you guys have not seen me do a kit before, I'm a kit cheater. I'm not afraid to admit it. I always reach outside of my kit as long as I'm using supplies based off of my kit, at least a little bit of my kit, then it is definitely success for me. And that's all I need out of my, you know, essentially out of my month. And that's what I go for. So hopefully um, you guys don't mind that, me a little kit cheating over here, but I definitely encourage you guys to explore those things. So like things like doilies, mixed media, um, die cuts, cause I store my die cuts in binders. It's just easier for me to flip through the binder as needed versus pulling some out. But those are just, you know, my little kit this month. A short video, a small kit, but I am super excited to get back to making videos. And hopefully you guys are excited to see that as well. And if you have any questions about any of the products, I will try to have some linked down below in case you're interested in checking any of them out. And a lot of these are older, so hopefully you have something similar in your stash that you can pull this month and that we'll have fun using together. So hopefully this is some great inspiration for you as it will be a fun experience for me. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this kit share, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, the lovely participants will be linked down below because there are tons of kits to check out, all different varieties and all different types of styles. So if this isn't your exact fit, there'll be someone down below who's a better fit for you. So you can definitely check them out for even more greater inspiration. But thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.